That's me in the trenches of St. Louis, the most dangerous city in America. Nine gunshots fired down here in this corner. This still video shows another man openly carrying a gun in the downtown area as well. I guess they just don't maybe value people's lives. Midwoman wore what looked like a Halloween mask and trying to get into another woman's vehicle. There were 55 calls pending at the same time. If you come to St. Louis for a vacation, you dumb. So I went downtown to ask the locals what they think. You feel safe out here? You can't even ride the metro link to wet. You can't ride the metro? No, it's always trouble. Always they rolling weed, smoking and drinking, and do some bad muff. Better mix, man. I robbed two times in the metro. You got robbed two times? Actually, you know right, why? Right, right there, the fifth. What did they take from you? My bike, my wallet, Actually? my phone. Yeah, I gotta give it to him. What do you do in that situation? Nothing, cause there ain't no pops over there. Have you ever seen anyone get shot or killed out here? No, but I've heard, I hear gunshots in the evening. I would always keep your head on a swivel in, in St. Louis. We can't book the blicky out here, but... You come out here at nighttime, though, then you better have your strap on you or yeah? something. Yeah? So at nighttime, you guys come out here strapped? You got to. At daytime, all day. You have to. All you day. Have to. Daytime, daytime, too? Yeah. Daytime. You strapped right now? Yeah. yeah. It's the young ones that I worry about. If you don't know where your kid's at, and he's 15, he's got an AK-47, there's probably an issue at home. I guess they just don't maybe value people's lives. Is St. Louis dangerous? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. City of straight blood, nigga. Yeah, you have blood? 104. Okay. A couple weeks ago, nine gunshots fired down here in this corner, this next corner down there. Jeez. Guys were in cars shooting at each other. People were ducking and screaming. St. Louis is a tough city to live in. And I keep a knife on me too, so. Oh, so everybody got guns out here. Everybody? And they know how to use them? The older people do. The younger people, no. They just shoot just to be shooting. They're just spraying. They don't care who they hit. Well, I was standing here, I seen her I just running down this way. Man. And gunshots, and I, I got the duck in it. She hit the ground, and people just called the police. Bad downtown. You can't even come downtown and eat, man. That's something happening. Somebody getting shot, somebody getting robbed, somebody car getting breaking in. Yeah, it's bad down here, man. Depending on all this shit. Yeah, yeah, all kind of shit here, man. If I were to walk around here at night with this camera, would I get mugged and killed? I don't know, shit. There's some crazy motherfuckers. I don't know tell what they might do to him. They might take his camera, shit. <laughs> What's the situation with the cops out here? Do they show up if something goes down? The police was just walking over here. Really? I was smoking a blunt yeah. in front of her. So they don't give a rip. They don't care. Do not care about nobody in St. Louis, especially okay. black people, bro. Really? They don't care. And this is coming from a white woman, bro. Right. Police ain't shit over here. Shorty over here. Shorty need to do a little better. But what did little shoddy think about being a cop out here? Is gun violence pretty big out here? Yes. Do you feel safe out here as in your job? Yeah. I've been doing this for a long time. Okay. So you just never know, though. I mean, it's, like I gotta when say. it's your day, it's your day. It doesn't matter. Is it dangerous as a cop out here? Yeah? You guys wish there were more police? I hear this is the most dangerous city in America, though. Yeah. After hearing how dangerous this place was from the locals, we made our way into the trenches to one of the worst neighborhoods in St. Louis to meet up with an up-and-coming rapper named Esco and his crew. One year ago, Tommy G met up with these kids, and since then, CTS Lil Wick has been locked up for murdering someone in a shootout while on a motorcycle. Bruh. I wanted to know what happened to the rest of the crew since the Tommy G video. So I threw on a bulletproof vest and headed to the hood. I'm dressed for survival in case I catch a stray bullet out here. I'm stressing a little bit, but I want to gain some insight as to why this place is so rough, why violent crime is so prevalent, and how these guys plan on getting out of here if they even want to get out of here. Every block we're about to drive through is basically a no-stop zone, so I'm ready to peel it in this rental right here, full coverage. I had no idea what to expect. I saw Esco in the distance and hopped out of the car to meet his crew. How you boys doing? Yeah. <laughs> we heard this place was dangerous, man. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you, man. I'm Tyler. I'm Esco. We got real metal plates in there. Yeah, you want to hit it? Or, I mean, don't shoot it, but... Nah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Headshot. Headshot. No, no, no. Headshots. They, they going to shoot for the head. Actually? Well, they going to cut oh, your motherfucking shit. legs while you trying to run. And we got sharpshooters out here? Sharp. Sharpshooter. Headshots. We got John Wick headshots out here? You been shot at? Sometimes. Man, listen here. I ain't oh, no. Think we don't get shot at. We do the shooting. Man, so what is he up. doing over there? Is he keeping watch? Yeah, he watching. The wrong car drives by, what happens? You may never know. <laughs> you got our backs? Only one way to find us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who is that? You know who that is? Yeah, that is my thing. How you doing? How is it out here? Is it safe? Is it dangerous? Is this overkill? I ain't gonna say it's safe, but safe. It's safe for me. Okay. It's my environment. It's where I live. Sure. So it's safe for me. You know, okay. I know how to take precautions. Yeah. How old are you, bro? Uh, I'm, I just turned 20, I told but 20. What's for you, boy? How old are you guys out here? 22. 22? 20. What about you, bro? How you doing? 20? Okay. My name's Tyler. So, Good to meet you, bro. Okay. Last time I saw you guys on camera, you guys were toting around lots of guns and whatnot. We had to, we had to change up the image yeah? a little bit. 
Tell me about that a little bit. You know, they bring a lot of the wrong attention. They ain't bring us good attention. We ain't even know who Tommy G was at the time. Yeah. We ain't know that, that he had a large platform like that. Sure. We ain't know that they was even gonna get that many views. We just being us around talking shit for real, sure. for real man. What, what's, what's changed since? We, we don't have the white boy. He got locked up? Yeah, man. They say he killed somebody, you know, that's what that's what they say happened. Been a lot of other people incarcerated ever since then. You know, like T4, a couple other motherfuckers. And it's a couple other motherfuckers we just don't see eye to eye with no more. Since the Tommy G video, what has changed in your head? Honestly, nothing. I'm still me. I'm still Esco. I'm still out here in the trenches. Tommy G went home and prospered off that. I went, I'm still right here in the trenches, so ain't shit changed for real. Okay. We still thugging, going nuts, being, yeah. being nuts every day. Getting by, trying to live, trying to get up out there. That attention you guys got, was it too much negative attention, you think? I mean, it wasn't straight negative attention. Yeah, yeah it, it helped me build my platform. Yeah. But yeah, that shit was mainly negative. That shit brought a lot of police attention. They ain't bring all the right attention that I wanted this to bring. I wanted what do you mean by that? I wanted more to focus more on our music. If you want to know about St. Louis or you want to get to know us or you want to know what we do day to day, you should go look into my music. When'd you get into music? I started rapping when I was like, I said like 14, but I started taking that shit serious like two three years ago what got you into music shit life for real for real i was i was locked up i had a partner that passed his name nice i was locked up and he used to rap to me all the time and i used to want his songs instead he told me to write my own shit. so i ended up doing that Sound. you know these guys yeah. you know this lady yeah that's the neighborhood watch <laughs> yeah she tell on everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah. she like an informant Nah, she ain't no informant. <laughs> she just a neighborhood watch, though. She ain't call the police on your ass quick. She heard any gunshot, she heard any commotion, any violence, anything going down that she don't like. The police gonna be on this street. You'll be living life one day, then the next day somebody will come through this Let me ask you this, when a car drives by, is that something you gotta pay attention to or what? Yeah, for sure that. You definitely gotta pay attention to them cars. We got trench security. Got it, I like good. that. How involved are the cops are out here? Too involved, nosy. Where are they when people get shot? Oh, they don't come, they ain't, they'll let your ass Die. I ain't coming. If one of us got shot right now, would they come? No. Your bitch nope. should get in your car drive. <laughs> yeah, just peel out. <laughs> so what's your dream, bro? It's only one way, and it's like, it gotta be this rap. I ain't really got too many other talents. When I go, they go. We ain't teenagers no more. We grown. It ain't no point of just hanging around and we ain't trying to come up with no game plan to get the fuck on yeah. and get rich. I just don't want to be rich by myself. That Born. With our trench security watching our back at all times, it felt like things could get dangerous here at any moment. But soon enough, Esco's videographer, Big Boy, pulled up to film a music video on the block. How long you been out here in St. Louis? My whole life. Yeah? What are your thoughts on this place? Uh, it's my city, shit. Yeah. I f it. Dangerous out here or what? You could be at the wrong place, wrong time, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's pretty much it, for real, for real. You see stuff go down? Have I seen some stuff? Yeah, yeah I've seen some stuff. I shoot videos, so yeah, a lot of this shit. Mid, mid music video? Yeah, a lot of shit happened in the middle. People heard, heard, <laughs> heard gunshots in the videos and shit like that, but nah, nah, ain't nobody gonna pull up. You should be cool. Okay. You carry out here? Do I carry? Everyone and their mother was strapped out here but me. <laughs> okay, all right. Good to know. And then I began to witness my first rap music video ever. No, summer, can't wait till the winter. Show up, shooter. Headshots on feet, boy. I ain't just no beginner. Hoodie always on with my mask, boy. I'm an extra spinner. What's up, dude? My name's Tyler. I realized that for guys like Esco, the trenches of St. Louis is a part of their brand and something that sets them apart from their competition. We were literally filming on the same block these guys live in. But real quick, you want to know how I feel pulling up to the trenches of St. Louis in a bulletproof vest from the comfort of your home? Then download Top Troops the sponsor of this video and a free-to-play mobile game that came out just last month. The game's a mix of an RPG strategy game with a unique merging mechanic where you collect, train, and merge your troops to make them even stronger in battle and to defeat opponents that get stronger as the game progresses. When you open the treasure chest, you get more troops, and then you merge those troops to make them even stronger in battle. My favorite troop is the Troll. It's just a giant meat stick that takes hits and hits back even harder. I throw them in the front line and let my wizards and archers just spam long-range attacks. I'm winning all my battles. But as the game progresses, you can put more troops on the battlefield and soak in your opponents, making it important to strategize and think through how you place your troops and what you'll need to do to win the battle. So click the link in the description and download Top Troops now to get 100 free gems and a king size chest. What are your my... thoughts on uh, St. Louis out here? This is the grimiest you're going to see it. Though. Yeah. Hey, so uh, I've been up to be barbecuing around the corner. Oh, the cookout. Am I invited to the cookout? He said, is he invited to the cookout? Man, that nigga know he can come in. <laughs> was moving wrong, I done put it on his okay. head. On his like this. Head, we don't pull on. You ain't got nobody. I'll die. You stay the f home.
blocks. Scene by scene, we made our way across one of the sketchiest blocks in America, and I had mad respect for the sense of brotherhood out here and the fact that they were working together to get out of the trenches. He's actually a big sweetheart, isn't he? That dog? <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I bet you it's name is Cupcake. All right, big scene. Do you like when he points the gun at your face? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd be my pants if I was the cameraman right now. How are you so feeling about this music video? If it do something, it, it is what it is. I, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to prosper off of it. Resco, a hit song is the ticket for him and his crew to get out of the trenches. As we walked to an abandoned building to film the last scene, I wanted to peel a layer behind the gangster rapper persona and understand the more as fellow 20-something-year-old kids. What do you guys do for fun out here? It ain't nothing to do for fun. Yeah, ain't nothing to do but to die or get locked up out here. Is that real? Yeah. Ask them. What do you do for fun, big boy? I play the game. Oh, you I game? rap. I rap too. What do you do for fun on the weekends? Uh, I don't even do much for real. Honestly, yeah, I ain't, ain't nothing to do. Woods. Yeah, we. Yeah, woods. What I do for fun? Yeah, on like a good weekend day, you feeling good? You feeling happy? Take care of my kids. Yeah, you got some kids? Who? Oh. You raw dogging? Yeah, raw dog. <laughs> Best to have kids while you're young. Like, oh. gonna, who wanna have a kid when they 30 and? Shit? You got kids? Nope. Right. I got no kids. See, you out of there. You might as well don't even try. So I gotta get to work? I'm nah. 23. <laughs> you young as f I'm young? How many baby mamas? Two or one? Two. All right, I'll give you fist bump for that. <laughs> I want a third baby mama. Get them all like Pokemon cards. I don't want none of the same baby mamas. Okay. Trying to spread the seed? Nah, I'm trying to spread my, 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 my DNA. <laughs> okay. Bro, I'm, I want like 20 kids, bro. What are you gonna do with all these kids? To me, what I'm gonna do with them? What they gonna do with themselves? I don't know. You gonna build like an army with all these kids or what? Army, what the? <laughs> f no nah, way. more so like a football team or something. Okay. Teach me a new word out here, cause I feel like I'm I'm speaking from the dictionary right now. We're not speaking the same language a little bit. Skeezer. Skeezy. Skeezer. 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 What does that mean? It's like a hoe. Been calling a lot of niggas cheap lately. Like, that's <laughs> cheap? my favorite word. Cheap. Who's out right here? This this this, this some real. Sh like you ain't you ain't gonna get fried out the one hit. You can't go to jail for just smoking some. Sh this. As we yapped family goals and weed economics while the boys slap boxed each other. Look, look, that, that's what you on the baby. <laughs> I realized it was easy to get spooked by the gangster rapper persona of these dudes, but ultimately these were just kids who grew up in a terrible city in a terrible neighborhood and were doing the best to escape their circumstances. Another wood. Come on. This boy's in the clouds right now. What was that indica? Sativa? I ain't I don't pay attention to this. Would you ever take a rhino pill? Man, f Oh, my bad. <laughs> All right, final scene. No pressure. Yeah. Hey, look. Uh, yeah, 10K on nerd head. I'm going to get this nigga by myself. I ain't trying to split the bread. Had them hands to get him. It's a 10 on every. Hold on, hold on. Me? So, bro, hold on right here. Let me get him. <laughs> Got great to this shoot out Venom. I don't get no f We clicking up. We killing who be with him. Hey, good work. How does it sound, boys? Are you, are you proud of your boy? Yeah. I f How you feeling? Yes, sir. Why is his hat so goofy? You're gonna be goofy till you put that. Oh, is he well known for putting in damage? Oh, okay. <laughs> With the music video finished, me and Esco went to celebrate to get some pizza. You're hopeful that song blows up or what? I'm just getting it out there. I know I need to keep being consistent. I got a little buzz. On, I got a million plus streams. But sadly, we were denied service because I wasn't wearing a shirt and the boys were wearing shysties. I'm good. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we got. You. All right. He said, um, "No hoods," and I need a shirt, which honestly is respectable. <laughs> ski masks are not allowed. Why are they hating on the ski masks? Ski mask is a good cover up. But with empty tummies grumbling, a fan came out of nowhere to take a photo with Esco. You know this guy? Yeah, come on. Nah, she don't know me, bro. I ain't that known yet. Make sure she have a picture just in case I do blow up, or, yeah. or just in case she do her like, oh yeah, that one famous dude. So you're investing early right here. Tap, tap. Fine. He look good. He's a good looking guy, isn't he? Yeah. Would you like to get his phone number? I would. What are your thoughts on her? You, you be honest. I ain't, I ain't really on the market. Oh, he's not in the market. Okay. That's my bad. That's my, ain't nothing wrong with it. But he's still in the market for a good photo, though. All right, say cheese. Scale of one out of ten, what would you rate this young man? About an eight. Hey, <laughs> man. Oh, if he said nine, he's gonna give you his phone number. I mean, it's not that serious. He said he was already taken. I didn't say I was taken. He didn't say he was taken. No, ma'am. Uh, I'm just. What about these two guys right here? I don't know about them. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I ain't trying to worry about them. So you got your eyes on the prize? You yeah. think he's gonna blow up? Yeah. yeah. If you wanna really make it out, Right, you can. Out of here. Sexy red, you see? Yeah, she's from here. Uh, yeah. Sister, hey, hey. yeah, they from St. Louis, so you can most definitely reach your goals up out of St. Louis. Okay. F haters, 
and get money. And free my baby daddy, like. What, what'd your baby daddy do? Ah, uh, you don't want to know. Uh, yes, I do. He did a robbery. Who did he rob? I don't know. <laughs> Wait. And on our way out, we encountered some unexpected wisdom. You got any thoughts on St. Louis? It's a place that's been deserted by many, and I think if more people take the opportunity to look here instead of uh, looking elsewhere, I think we can be more of a prosperous uh, city. Do so you yes, think sir. people are giving up on St. Louis? I think, uh, I'm gonna have to first answer your question, yes. Um, I believe it's because of lack of vision, and I believe that uh, you can create your reality wherever you are if you have a deep enough knowledge in the reality that you're trying to make manifest. But grandma across the street had a less hopeful perspective on this place. Okay, how's it being a grandma here in St. Louis? Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, as far as all the corruption that we have here in the city, come out the murder, the killing, the drive-bys, the, 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 the downtown, the, you know, yeah, all of it. My son was, was gunned down in 93. I'm sorry to hear. Yeah. Is that common out here? Very common. Very much. Um, yeah. Why is that? Why are people so violent out here? Evil. Corruption. Biblical. We living in the last days. Guys like Esco and his crew represent the future of St. Louis. And like it or not, they have the ability to shape the culture and decide what the next generation of kids here look up to. So why don't we help our boys get out of the trenches and go subscribe to Esco's YouTube channel and run up his new song that we filmed in this video. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok or YouTube short using a clip from this video, I'll send you $500. Post however many times you want but you must tag my TikTok slash YouTube at and put YouTube Tyler Oliveira in the title slash description.